and Frank. Thank you for joining us today. Um, if Sophia is looking a little sad, it's because we're missing the boys, right? Jeremiah and Gluten-Free Dad out. They are off on a boat fishing with their friends and family, right? So it's Sophia and I and Gluten-Free Grandma today to entertain you, to share some delicious recipes with you, and to hopefully give you a little bit of a giggle. Oh, who knows, right? Maybe we'll have a little bit of a No peeking. So we're glad you joined us, and we hope you guys be Y O N, right, baby girl? Bring your own napkin. Bring your own napkin because we have some delicious recipes we're going to share with you today. But first, we want to just share with you something that no, 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 this side. Something that we have in the box. Can you let go? For oh, a minute? Okay. okay. Something we have in the box that we're going to be giving away on our contest ends tonight at midnight. So if you haven't checked out our Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. You're going to want to go to check out the rules to see how you can enter to win. Dun, 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 dun. Something delicious from Enjoy Life. Yay. Dun, 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 dun. They have mini snack packs. Yeah, that's the right way, baby girl. Good. So they come in dark and they come in semi sweet. So we have filled our little delicious jar with our favorite treat. Now, right now, and these you can bring with you everywhere you go. You can stuff them in your purse. You can put them in the lunch bag. You can put them in your in your school bag, or take them wherever you need to go. We have some really great ideas we're going to be using with our little mini chips. So you're going to want to stay tuned to our next couple shows coming up. But we just want to just let you know that if you go to our Facebook page, we're going to be giving away a bag of each to one lucky winner. But you have to enter, tag a friend, and say where you would take the minis with you. And then you can possibly win a prize. And we're going to send that right to you directly from Enjoy Life. And thank you to Enjoy Life, right? Mm -hmm. What do you want to say? Let go of these for a minute. What do you want to say to Enjoy Life? We went to the Gluten Free Expo last weekend in Secaucus, New Jersey. And, I love your and she had a spectacular time. Thank you to Casey and the whole Enjoy Life crew. We got plentils. We got mini chips. What else? What else did you get? Bars. What else? She got her picture taken with almost everybody there. Yep. And she even has a shirt on. It's really, really spectacular shirt. It says, enjoy your life. We just cross out this little part right here and it says, enjoy life. Right? Mm -hmm. That's your enjoy life t-shirt. So thank you for, for joining us and we hope that you enter our contest because what we're going to be doing is probably one a month we're going to be giving away something this month is from enjoy life and we're showing you this side because we're not giving away the cookies we ate the cookies didn't we no we're not giving away cookies <laughs> but we're giving away the mini bags of chocolate chip <coughs> okay and it comes in dark and it comes in semi-sweet so they're perfect for you on the go people all right let's get rid of this now we're going to get ready go ahead go. all right we'll put it over here Today. Do you know what we're making today? Chicken <laughs> Chicken cordon bleu. We're making chicken cordon bleu. We're also making potatoes. We're going to do like a uh, quick scallop potato, similar to scallop, but more like a, just a baked potato. And we're having and pudding. Pudding. We're doing parfait. Pudding. This is like our version of icebox cake and a parfait. Just a little simpler version, and we like those little individuals that you can make, especially with the holidays coming up that you want to have something for everybody and kind of you feel like you're really special when you get your own little individual one. So we're going to start on the pudding right away. Sophie, can you go turn the oven on to 350 just so we have everything hot? We're going to get our oven hot for the our timer? potatoes. No, the oven on 350. See, we're missing Jeremiah today and he is our go-to guy. So we have to start electronics, we have to start the oven, we have to get all of our stuff out and that's it. 350. Bake at 350. Yep. Alright, so the first thing that we're actually going to do is make the pudding for our parfaits. Now, I just want to tell you that there's a million pudding! different ways to make pudding. pudding! Alright, calm down. The first pudding that we made we did actually a grain free version. So we used arrowroot starch and we used a coconut milk and we used sugar. And that was our first version that we have somewhere over there. Now, our second version. We just want to make it simple for you because we want to do it so you're at home, you want this really quick, and you don't want to waste a lot of time. Today we're using Organics chocolate pudding. And we're going 
to do, yes, thank you, Sophia. That's your chocolate pudding in a box, and you can get that at Wegmans or ShopRite or Whole Foods, wherever it is that you shop. And we have one and a half cups of milk in here. The reason why I'm not doing the two cups of milk, because I'm gonna omit the egg that they call for, so I want it to be a little bit thicker without the egg. So I've just got heated up my, I'm gonna heat up the milk, and I'm gonna put this right in and whisk it. Would you like to put that in? Go ahead, you can do that. All right, so on the back, it says for creamier pudding, for this kind of pudding, for that kind of pudding, but basically you just need two cups of some type of milk. And all of it? Yeah, all of it, thank you. Now, when you're making your chocolate pudding, and you're doing it in parfaits, you're really just, just a minute, yeah. Okay, here, hold that. You're really just stirring and warming the milk and stirring the ingredients to combine it and thicken it. And by doing that, you're going to actually have the sugar melted and the chocolate nice. And so you can do it with cocoa powder if you wanted to. You just may have to cook it a little bit longer. And then we're going to get rid of this. We don't need this anymore. So, oh wait, I wanted to read you the directions on the back. So it just says to add the milk and put the milk and the pudding in the saucepan and stir it well to dissolve the mixture. And then you're going to cook it on low until it starts to boil. And then you're going to remove it from the heat, and that's when you would either do your icebox cake, you're going to layer it with graham crackers, or you do your parfait and you scoop it into individual containers. While Sophia is mixing that, I'm going to get our little um, bowls to put it in, and I'm going to go grab a couple things. Oh, there's the Okay, so we're going survive. So these are one of them. Uh, sorry. These are our little Nespresso plastic cups and these look really cute as parfaits because you can kind of see everything. And then we have our beautiful little compote dishes here. These are from Grandma Tilly? Grandma Annie. Mom. Oh, these are from uh, Gluten Free Grandma's friend growing up and she had these beautiful glasses. I think she used them for shrimp cocktail or something, right? So actually this thing comes out and you won't believe it because it looks like like a sh broken champagne glass, but it goes, it fits right into this nice little silver pedestal and you can put your parfait in there and it looks really beautiful. You okay, you want mommy to do that? Mm -hmm. All right, so what Sophia's gonna actually get started on is crushing up our grams. Mm -hmm. We have some honey grams here we're Crush using today. Crush them in the package. Crush them in the package, yep. And what I'm gonna let her do is start to put that base layer on so she can do the first layer of graham. Sophia, would you get the mini scooper, the little the ice cream scooper, yeah. the cookie scooper? So we're just incorporating our pudding, and this is really simple, easy. If you can have regular pudding, like Mighty Fine or whatever you call it, Jello pudding, go ahead and use that. If you want to buy the pudding already made, you can do that and just make your own ice box parfaits. Yeah, you can do that. So now we've got this incorporated. Oh, we have the hammer because we're using it later for the chicken. So you're okay that you can do that. All right, so we're incorporating all the ingredients and then we're going to allow it to This is what the girl used for my cake. Yes, that's what she used for your cake. Thank you. All right, so you can do two packages. So the pudding that we made that we're going to show you afterwards when we actually take out the ones that are finished. Um, we used uh, tapioca or arrowroot starch, and we used the chocolate chips, or you can use cocoa powder. And then we didn't need any really sugar because in the little in the little semi-sweet mini chips, there's uh, cane sugar in there already, so we didn't really need to add any sugar. We didn't use any egg, and we did use a coconut milk in now the jar because it's a little bit thicker, 
and it really makes a nice consistency and you don't really have to cook it so much. Mama. So it's a little simpler of version. Okay, so which one do you want to use? You pick your vessel, I'll pick my vessel, and then we'll let the Winfrey Grandma pick hers. You want to use that one? I'm going to use this one, the Winfrey Grandma. Is this good for you? Okay, Winfrey Grandma's going to use our little cappuccino cups. So what Sophie is going to do is just do a small layer on the bottom, and you can actually press that down if you wanted to. Yeah, press that it. down. So why don't you get the rolling pin, the little rolling pin? You can't do it to this one, though, because this is breakable. So the little, the regular rolling pin that we have, you can actually press, let me just show them real quick. You can actually press the grams down, mm -hmm. crunch them up a little bit more, and then just press down. So that you'll keep that little layer nice there. Okay, good. Which one are you using? Okay, you changed your mind. You to the pretty one? Change your mind about the pretty one. I really love those little. She could, she said they're from Moppy. Now you don't know who that is, but I do. But I really like these little pretty things from Moppy. We can use these for just about anything, whether it's fruit or shrimp cocktail, like gluten free Grandma said, or we can even put our little dessert in here or some ice cream. I need some pudding. All right. So what we're doing now is we're thickening the pudding. I don't know if it said how long. Did you put a timer on? No, no timer, honey. I didn't put the timer on. No, okay, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I didn't even put it on. Okay. So we have our, our chocolate pudding. It's thickening. I can feel it. It's getting a little bit thicker. Now, I like the organic chocolate pudding because of, obviously it's organic. Let me show you one more time. So I'll read you the ingredients. It's just very simple. Organic cane sugar, organic sugar, organic cornstarch, and organic cocoa powder and sea salt. So really, you can make this at home. Now, this box is about $4.99. So if you can have the regular Mighty Fine one or whatever, you might want to try that. But I like this one. I have to have organic sugar, and I like to have organic whatever it is, even if I'm having a, a treat. So I'd rather buy this one. And then the baking directions, it says cook and stir until it boils. So we actually have it coming to a boil right now. I can feel it thickening. And I can remember actually going for grandma, you make pudding a couple times. Pistachio pudding, chocolate pudding with the little nuts in it. I, I used love, to love pistachio that. pistachio pudding. That was like the only thing you really made for dessert, right? You didn't really make desserts too much. More food, lots of food. We had a lot of food. Always have food in the house. Okay. All right, so we have our beautiful chocolate pudding. It's nice and textured. I'll give you, I'll try to show you a little bit. See how it's sticking to the whisk like that? Mm -hmm. It's a nice texture. We're well, good to go, man. All right. I will. Let me just push this out in front of you. All right. So I just want to make sure everything is in there. Yeah, you can use a ladle. I got you this thing. I thought you'd want to use that, but that's okay. All right. Hold on one minute. Let me turn this off and get this out of the way. Let me just let me get this out of the way real quick. Yeah, I just don't want you to hit your arm on here accidentally. Oh, that's what I did before. Yeah. So Sophia is going to actually get started on the layering, but we do have a third layer. So we want to do Graham's chocolate pudding and what else? No, we could oh, do that. Sew it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have our delicious little treat that we got at Whole Foods to sew with. So Sophia is going to do that second layer. And I'll do the third layer when she passes it over. Why don't you move it out of the way so everybody can see what you're doing? So we have our little parfait. You see the first layer is the grams. Second layer is the pudding. And you can do whatever way you want. You want pudding first, grams in the middle. You want so it first, whatever you want to do. And then a little can scoop I of help? that. Mm, that's kind of yummy. Can I help? Okay, why don't you do the grams next? Oh. And another scoop. This one we might need two scoops in those bigger ones. They're a little bit bigger. So, so we'll have to make sure you get enough whipped cream in there. You don't want to miss out on anything. All right, let's move this out of the way. I like this pepper. All right, so if you wanted to do heavier layers, thicker layers, you could do, you know, like a half an inch of the grams. Then you could do half an inch of the chocolate pudding and then half an inch of that and maybe just do three layers. This looks like it might take us a while and 
we really want to get going on our food because we want to eat. We have to feed gluten-free grandma. We have to make sure that she's very well fed because we give her a lot of work to do around here. And this week he did a lot of work cleaning up. So we've been, we were gone. We were in Ohio for a whole weekend. And I don't know if you guys saw our post, but VIP treatment was incredible. If you've ever been to a completely 100% gluten-free banquet, it was just such a treat. And everybody had it. Everybody ate it. Nobody said anything about it. I mean, it was a lovely dinner. It was just a basic chicken and potatoes and a flourless chocolate cake. But, I mean, it's spectacular to go to a major hotel and to get that type of service. It's incredible. So they had so many requests for gluten-free that they just did the entire banquet of thousands of people entirely gluten-free, even with bread baskets. So this was really incredible. All right, anyway, so we've got our, our this is great, Sophia, I love this. I'm gonna do double dip on mine, too. So what we're gonna do on the top, hold, 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 hold on, hold on. You're just gonna do a little sprinkle, a little, little sprinkle. And we have our little pumpkins, we have our little pumpkins. Come on, it looks like that cupcake. Ooh, yeah, that looks really, really yummy. You wanna go show them how what a wonderful job you did? There you go, and I will scoop out this. This is my mom's Beautiful. little parfait that I did. Sophie, you can put that in the fridge for mommy, right? Now, there's a couple other things we want to talk to you about on doing your parfaits. There's a few different ideas that you can do once you have your whipped topping on there. Nice. Sophie, you want to do another layer on this one? Do another layer on there. Because what we're going to do on the top is something a little bit more fun. You know, everybody's doing the s'mores dip and all of that party food and everything like that. And although I love all of that stuff, I really like to have my own little individual <laughs> container. I like to have my own stuff. And when you have kids, you know that you have to share everything. So when you get your own little thing, it's kind of special. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna share that with you. We have these marshmallows. They're really cool. They're egg free. Right? They're, they're gluten free. And I just want to share with you the ingredients because it's very interesting how these little marshmallows are made. Sugar, tapioca syrup, water, kosher fish gelatin from tilapia or perch, tapioca starch, and natural vanilla flavors in these. So if you've never seen these before, these are from Whole Foods or Colatin, I think it's, what is it called? Oh, it's, I had it upside down. Glyon, right? So yeah, I have it this way. Sorry, I had it the other way. So these are kosher marshmallows. They're really cute, right? The packaging is really cute. I love what they did with it. And the marshmallows are kind of big. So you can actually cut these in half if you wanted to. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one on the top. Sophia, what are you doing? We're gonna put one on the top and we have a little bit of a fire. We're gonna start. Hold on, I need like a little bit more. I need so much. All right, not now, we'll do it later. And we're just gonna, kind of toast our marshmallow a little bit. I want to do a design in your face. Can you not do it right now though? All right, so we have a little fire that we started on our little marshmallow there. So we have like a, a really like nice a little parfait. We've got a nice little toasty marshmallow up there. Now, obviously you want to do this when you're going to serve it because you don't want the marshmallow to go back to being hard. You want it to be nice and, oh, you feel that. So you want to put your parfait in the refrigerator. No, I know. Put your parfait in the refrigerator. Then when you're ready to serve it, you can actually put on a little show for your guests for the holidays. Put the marshmallows on top of each one of them, and then you can fire them up. If you don't have this, um, you can try a candle. You could put. <laughs> you can if you have a salamander, you take this off. You could put it under the salamander. Take off your metal and heat your, heat your little vessels that you have, or you could do it in a little pot instead. All right, or you could just use the sew whip and you can just enjoy it like that. All right, Sophie, you did good, honey. You all done? So we have our little pumpkins and our little harvest treats. We're gonna put a little bit on the top there just to make it look pretty. We wanna be a little bit faster. That right? didn't work. You know, we're bypassing Halloween because it is my birthday month and I don't like for anything to overshadow that. So we just go ahead and bypass Halloween. We love pumpkins and we love harvest time and we love Thanksgiving. And we'll be doing some delicious recipes for you based upon that. But if you wanted any, um, you know, any Halloween trick or treat stuff, 
we suggest that you just go ahead and go out and get some of these. Get bags and bags of these and put them in all of the trick-or-treaters bags. And then you have allergen-free, teal pumpkin approved treats for your Halloween trick-or-treaters. So that's our take on Halloween. <laughs> all right, Sophia's doing decoration, but we have to put this away because we have to get started. I was trying to do hard, but I did something else. That's okay. There. You can put it away, honey. You did good. In the fridge? Yeah. In the fridge? Yep. Or give it put to it me? in the fridge. No, put it in the fridge. We can't eat dessert yet. Why? Can't have dessert yet. We got to clean up our mess because we have to go to round two, which is going to be our delicious. I think we're doing our potatoes is our second item. And although it's a little bit basic, it really goes well with our chicken cordon bleu. Sophie, I'm going to put this away, okay? Okay. All right, potatoes are on the rise. Would you get the then for mommy, please? Okay. I'm just going to wipe this down really quick. You know, working without Jeremiah, we notice how much work we really have to do without him. And we absolutely miss him and gluten-free dad. But we're glad that you guys are tuning in. We want to hear your comments. What do you want to see cooked on the show? We're going to be making a lot of stuff for the holidays. We're going to be doing our Thanksgiving on turkey again. And we want to hear what you guys have to say. Because basically, we're here for you. We want to know what recipes you want to see. And, you know, what else you'd like for us to make. And transfer into gluten-free for you and your family so that everybody can eat it and enjoy it. And it doesn't have to be your dinner and their dinner and our dinner. It could just be everyone's dinner. Good job, honey. I'll take that. You want me to take it? I have my garbage right here. You want me to take it? Yes or no? Yes. Thank you. Okay. All righty. So you want to get the potatoes and we're going to start cutting. All right, so we just need our cutting boards. And what we're going to be doing is like our quick version of a really quick uh, and very well, light. I think you have to get the potatoes. Oh, you want me to get the potatoes? All right, you get the cutting boards. We have a few different types of potatoes here, and thank you to Krawicki's Farm because we got a whole box of potatoes the other day. We made a delicious potato leek soup, which we think post we posted a few pictures of that. I'm not really sure. All right, so what we did is we just washed our potatoes and got them cleaned up and ready to go. Okay, I'm going to be using our De La Rosa extra virgin olive oil, which we love. You want to dice or slice? We're going to slice them. We're going to try to do them very thin. Now, normally for scalloped potatoes, you would peel the skin off. Oh, can we but do that? Can no. I do that? Uh-uh. I'm very peeler. fond. No. I'm very big on keeping the skin on all potatoes, whatever it is you're making, because it does have vitamins and minerals in it. Just one. Nope, we're not peeling potatoes. So what we're going to do is we're going to slice our potatoes really thin. I have the oil in here getting ready. Let me just move it. I just spilled our oil today. I spilled it. All right. Is that thin enough? No. So the reason why you want to cook uh, thin potatoes, because you want it to cook fast. If you're going to bake it in the oven, you can do a little bit of a thicker potato. Let me just wipe this down here. Gluten-free grandma's going to cry. I spilled the olive oil. And I can't lick it up <laughs> when everybody's watching. <laughs> you would lick it? I would lick it right off the counter. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do thin if you have a mandolin, you can use your mandolin. Is that thin enough? Yes, look at fingers. that. You did a great job. Now you want to make sure you have your fingers bent over. Sophia, fingers look bent. Look at that wobbly thing. Good girl. Fingers bent. We're going to do nice thin slices of potatoes. I got a bogus cutting board. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she knows exactly what I mean. So we want to hear what you guys are doing for the holidays. If you're going to be cooking, if you're going to a friend's house and you have to B-Y-O-F, bring your own food. All right, I'm just putting this potatoes down on the pan that's hot with the oil. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Watch you don't get splattered. I am what? Go ahead, go ahead. Now, if you wanted to, oh, you can bake. You can bake your potatoes in the oven and bake them, you know, separate on a sheet, and then put them all together when they're ready. I don't think I can cut that either. Don't cut it. Just leave it alone. I'm gonna do this red skin potato. You can even boil the potatoes a little bit, then slice them, 
and then add all of your ingredients that you like. We're basically just going to be doing salt and pepper and a little bit of our special cheese sauce. I got it. Be careful, honey. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to go get my, so I can flip over our potatoes and make sure they're good. Careful, baby. Hey, to do the scalloped potatoes to bake them in the oven, you skin on or skin off, it doesn't matter. You would just layer your potatoes with your, your like your bechamel sauce, which is a milk and cream and cheese sauce. So you would layer that and then you would bake it in the oven for about 35 to 45 minutes until it gets nice and bubbly. Some people like to put a little breadcrumb on top, some people don't. Some people like to add a layer of cheese on top, some people don't. So it's totally up to you. We're going to do our, actually it's going to be dairy free version, but you can just omit and do a regular cheese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, excuse me, I can't move. That way. Okay, don't throw that out. No, 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 we don't throw this away like that. So please don't throw the potatoes away. All right, move this off and we're going to get started on the chicken. You don't need your cutting board either. You can move chicken. it away. Chicken. Chicken. So our potatoes are just getting a little bit brown and I'm going to 
to show you. See, we've got a little bit of that browning on the potato now. All right. Just a minute. Keep feeling around, 
keep seeing where it's large, and then also you want to make sure you don't make any dents in it. Move your fingers. so you can see how nice nice and thin it came after we pounded it. So there's our nice thin chicken, right? So now, you Sophia, would you, get the, I pound it. would you get the cold cuts out, please? Today we're using Applegate cold cuts for one, because we absolutely love them. Two, because it is perfect for our chicken cordon bleu. They have the Amontelier Mom, Swiss cheese. Yeah. And they have the beautiful black forest ham that we love. Oh, this is the one where you roll it? Yes, yeah, so what we're going to do is you can open this for mommy, please. We have this beautiful Amontelier cheese. It's Swiss cheese actually from Switzerland. I don't think I so, can open this. No, you can't. Just cut it with the scissors. I know I couldn't get it yesterday. I had to cut it. So we're just going to take our, our cold cuts out cut of the package. Cut the zipper too? Just cut the whole thing. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to flip over our potatoes real quick. So these are almost done. And I'm going to put these into the pan that we have in the oven. Just going to go grab that as soon as Sophie gets back with our cold cut. All right, Sophia, two pieces of ham, two pieces of cheese, okay? You can do that. Okay. And then roll it? Don't roll it yet, honey. Okay. All right, I'm coming with the pot. I'm coming with the pot. Alright, so I'm going to put these potatoes in here. These ones are a little bit nicer and crispier than the others. That's okay. Though. Doing alright? Alright, so two pieces of ham, two pieces of cheese. You want to put this over here. Over here by you. And then you do this. I pound it. Put the ham. Okay, I'll get my hands dirty. Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Alright, so normally for chicken cordon bleu, you put like a little mustard glaze in there. Um, we have our little dairy free kind of mustard cheese sauce that we're going to use. Let me open it. Open. Hold on a minute. Let me see if I can do it. Got it. Alright, so I'm going to just put a little bit of that. Can I get a teaspoon out for me? Mommy's going to do this. Normally we would just take. You know, you take a teaspoon of mustard, but we're going to use our sauce. So we're going to put a little bit in there. The reason why I'm doing it on the top portion is because I don't want to put my spoon in the chicken. So I'm going to just do right on to the cheese. And let me just show you that real quick. You could roll it with a practice bag. So, yep. Did I get you on your arm? No. So move that, please. So this is the cordon bleu before you roll it up. We have the chicken and the ham and the Swiss cheese. And then we're going to use our plastic wrap to roll it nice. Can I roll it? Mommy's going to do that, okay, honey? I always have to do the first one so that I can show you oh, what okay. I expect. Okay. And then you can do the rest. All right, so we have it nice and rolled up. We're going to put it into our flour. This is our gluten-free flour blend that we're using. Okay, and then we're going to put it right into our apple cider. Not yet. Wait, let me just get this in the stove to put my fingers. First. And then right to our breadcrumbs, our Josie's Coat of Oats. It's going to make it nice and crispy. Now you can seal the edges if you want to. We don't really mind. I'm not crazy about perfection and making it look perfect. And I don't mind if the cheese kind of comes out the sides. It's fine with mm. me. All right, so now we have a little bit of our oil that we're going to put in the pan. Not spilled oil. No, uh, no, nope, no. Nope. And then we're just going to get it right started in here. I have it at 350. I'm going to put it right in there. And then Sophia can get started on the rest of the rolling and all of that. You going to be okay with that? Put up this, mm -hmm. put this up a little bit more. So you have your Applegate ham. They have so many different flavors. Our store only carries the Black Forest and the Long Square, which they call the, I think it's like the baked, honey baked or something. So we, I like the hand tied one, but we can't find that anymore. So we use this regular baked, is this the Black Forest one? Is that what it says? Yeah. 
the black forest ham, and it's a little thicker slice, which is perfect ready? for our yeah. chicken cordon bleu. Yeah, go ahead, go, 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 go. Now, normally you would, you can um, put these, you can make a bunch ahead of time, especially for the holidays if you have it coming up. Make these ahead and freeze them, and that's what we did with the ours. And then you can actually deep fry them when they're really, really, really super good deep fried. Or you can do them in a Dutch oven, or you can bake them in the oven. Excuse me. If you're going to bake these in the oven, you want to drizzle them a little bit or spray them with some olive oil so that the top also gets crunchy. You want to make sure you cook your chicken all the way through. You don't want to give your guests chicken that's not cooked. All right, so we have our flour, our apple cider, and we have our Josie's Coat of Oats gluten-free breadcrumbs. So it's going to be crunchy and delicious. I'm going to go just wash off my hands and then get started on the next chicken. So we have a bunch of chicken corn on blues in the refrigerator now that I put from the freezer to the refrigerator. I'm going to grab those and get those in the pan so that we can cook a little bit faster. We need to speed up our pace a little bit. All right, so if you freeze your chicken corn on blues, this is what they'll look like. They're really beautiful. They're ready to go. They may take a little bit longer to cook. I'm just going to do three for now. The rest we're going to put right into the freezer. And these are great. After you let them set for about 20 minutes, you can just put them into a baggie and then have them ready for when you want to just, you know, have I dinner and you don't want to have to That is spectacular. Yes, Sophia. Good job, honey. All right, so she's going to do the ham and the cheese. You can even turn the ham the other way. That Swiss cheese is probably one of our favorite things because we're very dairy select. And being that this cheese is from Switzerland, Sophia and I can actually have it. If you don't do dairy, you can substitute um, Daya cheese for that. They also have a Gouda, they have a hot pepper jack, and they have a provolone, and they have a mixed one. So this chicken cordon bleu really can be transformed into whatever you want. Our other option was we were going to do pepperoni and cheese inside, which would really be a delicious combination. Then you can cover your chicken cordon bleu with some sauce, some tomato sauce, and that would be really good. Good girl. Sophia's doing that little bit of cheese and mustard sauce that we have prepared. And really this is just, um, we made some cashews that we soaked and drained and then made into like a little paste. We added some vinegar and some mustard. We did a little bit of turmeric and salt and pepper, and let me read. Oh, and we put some tahini in there, so that's yummy. All right, she did a good job. Let mommy do the rest, right? So we're gonna put that right into the kitchen. All right, we've got that into our flour now, and then we're gonna go into our apple cider. Oh. And you wanna make sure you cover all your bases over here. You wanna do one more or no? Okay, one more and then you can so we have our apple cider that we're doing, and then our Josie's Sort of Oats to give it that nice crunchy crust that we like on that chicken cordon bleu. And you know, as I'm rolling it, I'm kind of like firming it and trying to compact it, keeping it all together there, doing those ends a little bit. And then we'll put it right onto our parchment paper. Sophia's going to do one more for us, and then we can get rolling on the last little bit, which is our um, assembling and eating, of course. So we hope you guys D Y O N. And if you have your pen and paper and you're writing your recipe down, you can write down everything that we did today. We have our flour, our apple cider, and our Josie's Coat of Oats gluten-free breadcrumbs that are really delicious. We have our non-dairy cheese-free cheese sauce. Even though we have that Swiss cheese inside, you can substitute that out for whatever you want. You can also do variations of the chicken cordon bleu. You can do some cheese and broccoli. You can do some sausage and peppers. You can kind of make it like a vessel to put anything inside that you like. I'm definitely going to do the pepperoni and cheese. That sounds really yummy to me. We'll do our Italian version of chicken cordon bleu. This is the French version, I think, right? This is a French one. All right, we're going to flip over our one. 
Now we need some more oil because I can see it's not getting all over where we want it to be. That's why they tell you to make, you know, like a about an inch of oil and put those nice in there so they get crispy kind of all the way around. Good girl, we're done with this, right? So if you go to any of your grocery stores and you see that in Montelier cheese, and you're like, what am I supposed to do with that? It's really just Swiss cheese. It's from Switzerland. That's how they say it. And then, all right, we want to go real tight on our wrap, all right? Is that tight? Yeah, that's good. We're going to go right into our, our flour mix. So we dry off that chicken breast really well so that it's able to receive our breadcrumbs. I'm going to wash my hands. Okay, baby. Now, if you wanted to, you could toothpick these. Just make sure you remove the toothpick before you serve your guests. We've got that last little bit of our flat, of our gluten-free delicious oats. Josie's coat of oats is a really great option for your breadcrumbs. They're found online. I believe you can get them on Amazon, or you can visit Josie's coat of oats on Facebook or Twitter. Make sure you tell her that ABC gluten-free sent you so that she knows they have seasoned and unseasoned. Today we're using the seasoned version because we didn't want to be bothered with putting all the parsley and garlic and pepper and salt into our ingredients. We just wanted to have it ready. All right, I'm going to just slide this over a little bit and we're going to add our last one in. All right, so we can move along and get rid of some of these things that we have here. All right, so at the expo, we had such a great time. We really enjoyed seeing everybody and meeting all the new people. I'm going to put this away. Sophia, tell them yeah, about your experience. Go ahead. Tell them about it. Um, I like time. I like time. Who are you with? Addison. Her friend, right? Tell them all about Addison. She's newly gluten-free. She has a new gluten-free friend. And we're on the same soccer team. Yes, and she, they got to go around trying everything. Tell me some of the things that you tried. We tried cookie dough. They tried we edible tried cookie pretzels. dough. We tried From cookie Sweet Megan, they had edible cookie dough. Show them your edible cookie dough. This is awesome. We have a this is snow the one egg. that I eat regularly. Hold it up for a second. There you go. This is the other one. It's pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice. That's the one I want. All right, so we. this is, you can eat this cookie dough right out of the jar, or you can bake these in the oven. It's completely up to you. But this is a fun little snack to bring with you, like if you're going to a party or something, and you see everybody with the cupcake and the cake, and you're just like, oh my gosh, I need something. And have a little bit of cookie dough, right? Okay. Yeah. I don't normally let my kids eat cookie dough, but when it's from Sweet Megan and Patty made it, I'm going to let them have it, because I know mm, that she puts all good ingredients in there. Mm, I love pumpkin. I need tired. Okay, so it's nice. I love pumpkin. All right, we got this going here. I'm going to flip this one over. We've got a beautiful golden brown. Look at that beautiful golden brown. It tastes like pumpkin, pumpkin right? Pumpkin something that I have. Pumpkin spice. Tastes like pumpkin spice, right? Like a pumpkin spice bread that I have. Oh, maybe the one that we made? I'm just putting a little bit more olive oil in there. We want to get those chickens nice and toasty. Sophia's going to grab us our plate to do our chicken corn on blue. We're almost ready to serve. We might have a short show okay, for you today. Okay, let's out. But we really have a nice lunch, a really simple meal, but very elegant, too. Mom, Especially if you're doing this Give me my dessert. Oh, uh, don't give it to her yet. She's not going to eat all that. You know that, right? I know. It was, it's a smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that good. I want it to be a hard for this. Oh, I love it. So we've got some spoons. Why don't you take out the one that we made before, Sophia? This is my beautiful little icebox parfait. What do you want? With our honey grams, our chocolate pudding, and our so delicious cocoa whip. Mmm, that is looking good. 
Then we have this one that we did with our gorgeous roasted marshmallow on top. Now you can put that away. Just leave this one out. And then we have the one we did earlier with our roasted marshmallow on top. Remember what I said to you about doing the marshmallow right before you serve it? I want to sew it on mine. Because you want it to be nice. Yeah, hold on a second. You want it to be nice and soft and mushy. Watch out. You want those marshmallows to be nice. Let's wait for this to go out. There we go. All right, so we have our chicken cordon bleu. It's almost ready. You can see, nice. It might need a little bit longer in the oven. Not sure. Mm. Some of the cheese is coming out on the side a little bit. Yeah. I'm hungry now. Are you hungry, for Grandma? Okay, no more. No more. That's my food now. Yeah, no more. She goes overboard with the dessert. Now those Josie's Code Votes have the nice have spices in there, so you don't even have to add any parsley or basil or any of that. It already has it in there, and um, here's the bag. So if you've seen this before, if you haven't, you should go to Josie's Code of Oats on her website and check it out, or you can email her, Josie's Code with an S on the end, at gmail.com for any information you might want to have. And it's low fat and low sodium, and it's healthier than breadcrumbs because she's using a gluten-free oats, certified gluten-free oats. You're not supposed to be eating your dessert yet. Yeah, are you? You're eating backwards today. Nobody has a... I hope you guys BYON because this girl didn't bring her own. She's drooling already. She has no napkin. You have no napkin to drool on here. Get out your stuff. They get nice and soft when they're in the middle of that pudding, right? And then the marshmallow is melted. There you go. You want to get all the edges on your chicken cordon bleu. If you keep messing with it, like I'm messing with it, you're going to end up with some of those breadcrumbs in your, in your pan. And that's okay because what we're going to do later is warm up our little cheese sauce and put it right on top of our potatoes and our chicken. We're going to do that in a second. I'm going to have to take this out. Would you get me a square pan down there, please? Okay, put that away for now. I don't want to eat any more of that. Nothing. She'll be going bing, 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 bing. Square glass pan down there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our chicken cordon bleu out for now. Because we're going to have to, we need to get going. We don't have much time left, so we really want to show you everything before it's too late. Thank you, honey. So the ones that we're going to go put in the oven, I'm going to just put in here. We want to get those out. And I want to eat. We're going to keep these two chickens right here. Did you go put that in the oven? Oh, never mind. I'll just put it in all right, I'm just going to go grab the potatoes that we have in the oven and put this away. Chicken. I'm only gonna First, you're cutting chicken. 
No more of that right a now. A little bit of it. I said I'm only going to eat it. Yeah, I know. You and Mommy always share all that gooey stuff. And then we're just going to cut our chicken. See how we're doing here. Oh, it's a nice crunchy crust. Nice crunchy crust. Wow. We've got our ham and cheese. Look at that. And we're going to give gluten-free grandma cookies. We were stuck. Gluten-free grandma and what we're going to do is going to have a little feast right before your eyes. Feast your eyes. We're going to give Sophia her potatoes. Yep. We're going to give Sophia her potatoes. And you want, you want this on your potatoes? This is a little mustard cheese sauce. Okay. Now you can layer that between the potatoes and do your thing. And we've got our beautiful look at that. The chicken rolled up. You want to go show them that, Sophia, please? She's still chewing. Mm -hmm. She must have put way too big a piece in her mouth. And you guys probably saw that. And if you saw that, I want you to let her know. I know that I she did. should cut smaller pieces to put in her know mouth. I did. She's 10. Her mouth is very small. So what do you think? Delicious? I'm going to try our little the our ice box. Coat of oats mm. makes it a nice crunch. Oh, yeah, it gives it a nice crunch. Now I'm going to try our little and the melted. ice box mm. parfait. Mm. Oh, okay. Mm. I'll try my little ice box. Oh, wow. This is a really nice little dessert. I didn't get any pumpkins on mine, but I'll take them. Mm. This is the perfect size for me. Mm -hmm. For dessert. Because I don't like too much, but I do love chocolate. Mm, that's true. Mm. What is your favorite thing, Sophia? Or you can't decide. You like the whole thing. I like the whole thing. You like the whole thing? The chicken is cooked perfect. Thank you. I didn't get chopped today. My chicken's cooked perfectly. So today we made for you a delicious either lunch or dinner. You can make this chicken cordon bleu ahead of time for everybody in your family, and then you don't have to do so much work. You can even bake it in the oven if you're going to drizzle a little bit or spray some oil on that so it'll get nice and crispy with those Josie's Coat of Oats. You can put anything inside your chicken cordon bleu. Just switch up the name. Chicken Italiano, chicken pepperoni, chicken sausage and meatball, chicken peppers and onions, or broccoli and cheese. Whatever it is that you like, we want you to stuff that inside your chicken. We want to thank Excellent Meats for giving us the most beautiful chicken thank cutlets. You. Thank you, Excellent Meats. Thank you to Kawiki's Farm for our beautiful white, red, and Yukon thank gold you. potatoes. I yes. love your horses and all your rescued animals. Yes, we do. We love them. And we want to thank you guys for tuning in today. We hope you enjoyed our chicken cordon bleu, our quick version of a scalloped potato, and our delicious icebox parfaits with chocolate, mm -hmm. honey mm -hmm. grams, and some mm -hmm. so delicious cocoa whip on top, mm -hmm. and a toasty marshmallow, if you please, right? Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you, Sophia, for your help. Mm. We did it without Jeremiah and Gluten-Free Dad. What do you think? We did a good job. Stay here. We're not done yet. Come here. No, I do that. I'll do that. 
So we want to thank you guys for tuning in. We want you to come taste and see how good it is to be gluten-free and have a delicious weekend. We hope to see you next week on the show where we're going to be starting the beginnings of our, our holiday celebrations. We have a few guests coming on the show, so we want you to stay tuned. Oh, and make sure you guys go on our Facebook page and enter our contest because you might be the winner of dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. some Enjoy Life mini packs of dark and semi-sweet chocolate chips. Don't miss out on our contest. It ends tonight Please. at midnight, and it's for U.S. only. So sorry for you international friends watching and tuning in on live stream. Sorry, we China. love you guys so much, and we appreciate all of you, but we just can't ship it to you yet. So keep tuning in. We're going to be giving away some prizes and some really cool stuff. Sorry, so have a China. great weekend. Okay, Sophia, you're on. You're on. Mm. Sophia's going to close us out. Have a great weekend, guys. God bless. Ciao for now. Yeah, I'm done too. Go. Do you want me to do it? ABC Gluten Free is a production of. Oh, I'm not supposed to do that yet. Go. Aprons by Ariana. Move over a little bit. They can't see you. They see me still eating. Aprons by Ariam Designs. Wardrobe by Tula Zoo Boutique. Hair by Sanique, makeup by artistry. Follow us on live stream, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, and YouTube. ABC Gloom Free. ABC Gloom Free is a protection of AmericanBot.com. Bye.